As we are thinking about moving our classes online, I wanted to just show some of the courses, um, how mine look, just to give you a preview of different ways in which you can do online courses. Um, the, first, the two things that I'd like you to focus on is how you're going to teach the material and really, almost more importantly, is how you're going to interact with your students. How are you going to reach out to them? How are you going to work with them? So I don't want you waiting until the students reach out to you and ask for help, but you really have to be an active uh, participant in working with them. So I'm going to show you a couple different courses just to show you how it might work. So this is a, a Psych of Aging course. And you can see from um, the this page here that I have decided that I'm going to have my course material kind of chunked this way. I also use the module way, whichever works best for you. Um, students like both, so I, I tend to do both. But I just wanted to show you, um, actually I might start here, how um, I, this course does a lot of a primary, oops, primarily, <laughs> are you dizzy yet? Um, text-based lecturing. So if I go to course material and I have the material broken up by exams just for them, um, if I look at a topic then you'll see what I've done here is I've typed up a lot of the lecture and then I've given them additional links they can go to if they want to keep digging. Um, but this is the way that I've chosen to kind of launch them into the material. Uh, you can choose to do it this way. You can choose to um, do videos. I caution against posting PowerPoint because the students then have difficulty opening that sometimes um, for the on their other devices. And PowerPoint, if they're just bullet points, it's not really teaching the material. We would want something where you can sh walk them through it. So if you have PowerPoint, we would encourage you to, to make notes or somehow walk them through the lessons so that you can explain. So this is one way in which I um, reach out with the students and sorry, I teach the students. And then I want to talk to you about how you can reach out to them. So one way, a, a nice way is the announcements. So you can send them announcements. Um, you know, kind of welcome them to the topic. Um, you can also, I made a video for my students. They did really well with one of their um, posts. And so I just wanted to tell them what they did well and congratulate them. So um, you can do that via announcements. And then another way you can, um, I don't want to show grades, but another way you can work with students is in their discussion posts. If you have discussions, reply back to them, teach them that way, and then give them really good feedback in the grade book. So each student gets a comment from me on every grade that they get on an assignment. So this is ways in which I'm engaging with them. Uh, I wanted to show you another way that you could teach a course. So this way was predominantly lessons taught with a kind of a write-up. My other class, this is my stats class, um, the lessons are primarily video-based. Now I also use the announcements and uh, I very heavily use the comments in the discussion board. I have homework to where one of the homework questions it's a, a no point based question that says, tell me how you're doing and they will let me know what's confusing and what they have questions on. And I will reply back to them in the comment field, um, you know, an answer to their question. So that means every week I'm interacting one on one with each student. And if they say I don't have any questions this week, I say, oh, great job. But at least they know I read that comment and I and they can hear back from me. But in this uh, lesson format, um, these are videos. So um, what you can see is each week I have the a PDF for them to take notes with and then, oops, I didn't want to play that, sorry. Um, each week I have videos for them to watch and then uh, this would be like the lecture hour in a course. And so as they scroll down, they can see the time it takes to get through the videos, the basic description of the videos. I have optional videos at the end. And then I also have a description of what they're going to learn this week and any assignments that are due. So I often have discussion assignments due, except for exam weeks. Um, and then the discussion assignments, they'll be doing something typically discussion based, but they'll hear from me um, about those and then they get um, comments. And then in the I also use the announcements field um, to keep in touch with them and kind of connect with them more regularly. So what you'll want to do when you're making a new course or changing your course to online is focus on how you will 
give them the lessons and then also how you will interact with them so that they know that they can ask you questions. So provide mechanisms for them to ask you questions, but also you need to be consistently reaching out to them. So sending them announcements, sending them emails, um, giving them detailed feedback on their uh, grades. Um, using rubrics to help with that too. All of these are things that you might want to target when you're moving your course online. Let me know if you have any questions and I'd be glad to help with any kind of setup that you might have.